Hey guys, <laughs> Aurora Celestian here, and today we are back for some more Universe I.O. So where I left off yesterday, I said I was going to build a house to basic protection and stuff, and I have, I have done that. <laughs> so far, these are the main quests I have completed, mainly because this is about as far as I've got. <laughs> For a smooth criminal, I need smooth stone, which requires stone cooked in a furnace, which requires cobblestone, you know, cooked in a furnace. All obviously transmuted with that, but then I wouldn't be able to get it back into my inventory as stone. But one thing I did have to have are these little campfires here, and I want to do a quick little experiment. Okay, that's the experiment. <laughs> so yeah, I can't physically do that. Which is great. That's just great. <laughs> so firstly, I need to track down a cow. Because I was unfortunately cursed with a bad omen effect by being a muppet. So firstly, I want to do some quick magics. If I can, I'm not sure how to really use this thing. One, two, three, four. Nope. I've got Botanica. Uh, seconds after creating a flower. Water. Oh! Okay, then that should. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, I need a seed? Um... Haha, <laughs> I have a seed. And that gives me the pure daisy. Which does now mean I can get that one. Which unlocks the... Living wood. Which is, in all honesty, a fairly easy little task. Do. Only problem is now I don't have any more water. Ah. Ah. Didn't think that through. Anywho. <laughs> Composter out here, it's also where we're going to be doing our uh, living stuff. So if I were to place these around here like this, that's to start preparing living wood. As I said earlier, I have to... Okay, I didn't expect it to be this quick. <laughs> I really didn't expect it to be that quick. Alright, well whilst that's going on, I'm gonna go- I'm now going to go track down a cow. Why? Because I want to get rid of the bad omen effect. Are there villagers on the- villagers in this world right now? Probably not. But, I still don't want to take that risk just in case. Also, because I'm not sure if there's any water or anything else in this world. I mean, I managed to get this bu uh, bucket of water itself thanks to a wandering trader. That's that's actually how I got that was thanks to the powers of wandering traders. Oh, it's turning night time again. Bees. <laughs> Bees. Ah, I don't really need as many of the Botanica flowers at the moment. Oh, Botania, not Botanica. 
<laughs> okay, now that I'm cleared of the bad omen, that's also very good for me. Oh. Mana spreader. A cosmic ingot, which is cooked cooking cosmic dust. And obviously, if you don't know, the cosmic dust is just gravity with two of those. Let's put two of them there. Then up, up. Two of them. What is that? Yep, yep. <laughs> gravity, helium, hydrogen. We get the sun. Take the sun. We get cosmic dust. Then we just do that. And we wait for it to cook. Oh, that was fast. So then we need the living wood, which I've already got. So it should be like this, like this. Bam, and bam. And that's the mana spreader. Now there's two things left to do. There's this one, which obviously needs more water for the endo flame, and a brick. But first, we sleep. And we get this cool little thing up here, where it like <laughs> skips through the, uh, the night cycle. Although it does mean I physically do have to wait out this entire time span for it to go to daytime. So I think it does. I'm not, I'm not sure what this is actually like doing, but all I know is if I want to skip to daytime, I've got to put up with the timer every single time. But personally, more preferred than having to deal with phantoms or mobs. Definitely more preferred. <laughs> You can see some of the stuff I've been doing today. Literally just before the recording. <laughs> the pillagers. <laughs> Only two of them though, which is weird because I thought they travelled in packs. But hey. <laughs> also, I do love that it has the little clock here indicating nighttime cycle or the clock cycling around. That's cool, like, you can faintly see the transparent blocks from the, the, from the dust. And that's a skeleton, a skeleton bites the dust. Did I get any more? No I didn't, dang. <laughs> Now, you're probably wondering, like, why am I keeping carbon at the, the carbon molecules in my inventory? Like, what's so important about carbon that I would keep it on hand? Well, I'll show you. <laughs> so, obviously, first things first, we need to get a bunch of the... So, let's grab all of those. Grab those. Get... Gimme. Stack. God damn it. Alright. Some of them are weird and make me have to do it the hard way. I, I don't understand why. <laughs> Okay, so now you want to work. Alright. <laughs> Let's get a bunch of neutrons. And actually, you know what, that's pretty roughly even, so we're going to stick with that. See, so yeah, I'm going to be making a bunch more stardust. Well, a bunch more stars to get the cosmic dust. 
because I need a lot of carbon. Of course, that means we're going to need a lot of hydrogen and helium, which I'm pretty sure I don't have any more in here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to say there's no helium in here. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. This means I'm going to be limited on what I can utilize. Then it's Gravity, Hydrogen, and Helium. That way I can get five stars. Actually, if I do this... I can actually get a six. And I can still get my gravity back. I do apologize if the explosion hurt anyone's ears, it was not intended. And I'm actually going to drop that down into slot 2, just so I can keep an eye on how many I get. Seriously, game? I mean, yes, it's interesting to know I'm getting new elements. At least I think I am. It's not what I need. Okay, I do technically now have all that I need, but I want to get as many elements as I can. Ooh, I've completed I've got a good amount of nitrogen and uh, iron. I wonder if there's anything I can do with the iron atoms in itself to get like actual iron. Hmm. That is worthwhile science. And I'll show you why in a second. Because there's something I can do with the uh, transmutation, the philosopher's stone. Maybe. And if this works how I think it works, then I could potentially get iron tools today as well. Keyword, potentially. I can't guarantee I could. But at this point, anything is possible. So I'm actually going to grab this iron to test out my hypothesis. So firstly, I want to show you what a the carbon is for. A carbon makes a piece of coal. That is literally, that's how I get coal. As you know, my idea is... Yeah, alright. Way to prove me wrong, game. Way to prove me wrong. <laughs> Gets me thinking, ooh, if I can use carbon to make... If it's coal, maybe I could use the iron to make iron. But of course it wouldn't be that simple. Oh, back up stuff it. Iron dust, which is a compactor for the iron which requires Britannia on the terrestrial agglometrician plate, which requires a rune of water, rune of air, a finished PCB, which requires the pressure chamber, which in itself requires reinforced bricks, which requires stone, which requires a furnace. Uh, <laughs> 
Alright, well, there's one more little quest I can hopefully complete today if I remember where I put it. There, go, there it is. <sighs> you just hiding, hiding in there, huh? See, you're smart. Oh god, damn, there's more pillagers. Where's Pius? I need to get down into that cave. <laughs> Yeah, is that what you're gonna do, Pat? You stupid monster. Oh no, I've lost health, whatever shall I do? I like I have to <laughs> Do I know if I have botany cards? No. Am I gonna get a ton of bricks regardless? Yep. <laughs> you know, I wish I could just extend the lava moat around my base. I might actually do that. <laughs> Off screen, I might actually, you know, just use my one bucket and just make a lava moat around my island, in my house. Okay, then I needed the campfires. And this just, this little system allows me to cook things and keep them, you know, available. Where did the rest of them go? Oh, <laughs> they managed to sneak out. Crafty. Oh, <gasps> yes. Yes. <laughs> Botany pots. Oh, a brick hopper. Which obviously, I know the bunny pot can also... Okay, I need a lot more coal, uh, brick. A lot more coal? A lot more brick. <laughs> eh, even it, it evens out a bit. <laughs> okay, 28 co uh, co Brain, if you would like to English, please. 28 bricks. I should be more than efficient for what I require. Firstly, we have the flower pot. Secondly, we have the brick hopper. Then we got the... Oh, wait, no. It's more like this. Wasn't it? Oh, it's terracotta. Shoot. I should remember that. I literally spent so much time using terracotta in Sleopolis. What else? Ah, god dang it. Okay, well, that's something I'm gonna have to work on. I don't know where any more clay deposits are. There's nothing else I can really do because I need water. So I didn't get any hex scrolls. Wait, I guess I can use the command. Well, they're probably not because I'm not. I don't have like cheats, but flash hex casting was it? Rest. Patterns give all. Let me my phone real quick. <laughs> Sorry, I just need to get a picture of the command itself, just so that way I can reference it. Okay. 
if it allow if it works, then I can test out what the hex goals are. Gosh, this phone is slow. How could how did I ever do anything with it? Match casting. Patterns. Give. Or. Yeah. Hey, go. Go command. It's not. That's actually the exact command that's in the Blumen quest. Oh well. Oh, I'm not really sure what else I can do now, because I have to go find more clay. I want to make the moat around my base. I need to figure out how to get the blooming whatever the reward was meant to be for this quest. Because I paid three gold coins for it. <laughs> There's also the periodic table. Obviously, I can get these from Stardust, so it's not really that important. But the Primal Age. I need to somehow get a furnace. So I can then cook this. Unless I somehow manage to find a way to pick up stone. Which I highly doubt. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I'm gonna sleep, and then we're gonna go... God damn it. <laughs> okay, so at least the sleeping time isn't that bad this for this one. And if you notice, like, just outside my windows, which aren't really windows, but they're windows, you can see the stars actually, like, rolling down quickly. We should probably potentially see the moon, because from how it looks, the sun always rises from behind me. But I never actually see the moon as it's going down. Oh wait, there it is. As I say it, there it is. Bye moon. <laughs> Bye moon. Enjoy your sleep. <laughs> and wake up. As we look behind us, the sun rises. It rises from the east and sets in the west. Easy. They always try it. I mean, fair play to him. That's why I need the lava moat. Hey, do you know what that sounds like? It sounds like future me's problem. Right now, I need to see if there's anything I can do to get clay. Easily, I mean. Um... No particularly easy way to get clay. And here I was hoping I could use the Philosopher's Stone to turn something into clay. Alright, um... Alright, yeah, let's move stone. Oh. Because, in theory, it should just magically poof into stone, but then the effect should still keep going, turning it into the smooth stone.
Oh, because I got some living rock too. Didn't even realize that was an available quest line. Um. Oh, it became a quest line once I'd done the smooth. Okay. Now that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> And obviously the mana pool, which takes five of the smooth. It should, it should just be... Okay, so yeah, it is literally just... Keeping the smooth stone rolling around. I mean, fair enough. <laughs> That's the one thing I love about Magic Mon. They are just so interesting. <laughs> Ooh, new, a new chapter in the Lexica, Botani uh, Lexica Botania. Let's try saying that book's name ten times fast. <laughs> Wait. Oh! I can get, I can get water. Effie, uh, Effie, Effie, Effie. Fe being obviously the alchemical symbol for iron. Soul dread. <laughs> and I can put this out here next to the composter, so when it next rains, I can start working on it, uh, getting water. So yeah, um, I think if anything, that's a good place to end it off. Also, I don't know how to hide my inventory showing. I, I really have no idea. Um... I guess the best I can do is just put it in a chest. <laughs> Anything that could be useful will stay on person. You know, I like this pickaxe too much to not have it in... <laughs> to not have it show. Great, look at it. It's so cool. Right. Option. Get settings. Size. Capacity. There we are. Oh, sorry about the chest. <laughs> but yeah, uh, anyways guys, thank you so much for coming out. As always, it does mean a lot to me. If you did enjoy, please do consider liking and subscribing, as it just shows your support and lets me know that you enjoyed the content. But yeah, as always, Aurora Celestia, signing out. <laughs>